Post-trib moment number 30, halfway through this ridiculous bunch of nonsense. Okay, let's listen to the little liar. Tribulation, because we are not appointed to wrath. Now, in previous videos, I've already demonstrated beyond a shadow of a doubt that the tribulation and God's wrath are two separate things. That Oh, really? So the uh, opening of the seals in Revelation chapter 6, that's not God's wrath? God bringing war and death and hell and famine and the Antichrist, that's not God's wrath? I mean, what is it, God's uh, tender love and mercy? I mean, give me a break. ...have nothing to do with one another. But it's interesting that he uses the exact same wording in 1 Thessalonians 3 when he says, For yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto, for verily when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation even as it came to pass, and you know. Oh, so then I guess because we should suffer tribulation, then that means we're going to go through God's judgment. Let me just show you something kind of interesting here. Let's go to the book of Acts. Let's look at uh, the difference between Christian persecution that comes to a Christian and something that comes from the Lord. Okay? Here you have Stephen, the first martyr. They stoned him. They killed him. Okay, and uh, interesting here, witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul. If you know your Bible, Saul later becomes the Apostle Paul. But now let's look at chapter 8. Now, let me just, before we say that, or before we go on there, did Stephen suffer tribulation? Yeah, he sure did. Did it come from God or from man? Man. How about Acts chapter 8? As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house and hailing men and women, committed them to prison. Question, who persecuted the church here? Was it God? Who brought tribulation and suffering to the church? It was Saul. Man. And this is one of the favorite little tactics of the post-tribbers. They'll say, what about the martyrs? What about the martyrs? The martyrs were not persecuted by God. They were persecuted by man. The tribulation that was promised to come to the church of Jesus Christ came from man. Let me show you another little problem here. Acts chapter 9, Saul on the road to Damascus. Look what happens here. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said unto and he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest? Wait a second. I thought it said that Paul was, or Saul, excuse me, at this time. I thought it said that Saul was persecuting the church. When did it ever say that Saul persecuted Jesus Christ? It doesn't. You know why? Because Saul didn't persecute Jesus in the flesh. Saul persecuted the church. The church is part of the body of Christ. So, according to this little nut right here, the Lord is going to pour out judgment and tribulation on himself, apparently. When he opens the seals in Revelation chapter 6, he's going to be pouring it out on his own body. See, the persecution that's mentioned in in the Bible that comes, the tribulation that is mentioned that comes on Christians is from the world persecuting the church. But according to this stupid little nut right here, Jesus Christ himself in Revelation chapter 6, go there quickly, Revelation, we'll go to Re Revelation chapter 5, okay, saying who is, who is worthy to take the book, you know, here. And they sung a new so song, you know, the, the, you know, the lamb comes and he's worthy to take the book and open the seals thereof. And it's interesting because it's the lamb. Jesus Christ is the one who pours out the wrath there. And you say, well, it doesn't say wrath. Okay, then what is it? What is this here? What is the conquering and the war taking peace from the earth and the famine in here and death, death and hell here? You know, the pale horse. What is this? You mean to tell me that that's not God's wrath, God's judgment? 
Well, according to this guy, I guess not. What a false prophet.